Okay, we're live now. All right, I've got up? I've got a timer. Yeah. If you're there, shout because we're. Ah, there we go. There we go. I've got the live coming up as well. Excellent. That's okay. Right. So we had the whole conversation about meatless products, and I was just in the middle of telling you. Well, it always happens to me, doesn't it? Um, we were just in the middle of telling you the stylecraft. Right. If now. you did the Sirdar, um, oh, we're definitely there now. Yeah, yeah everyone's yeah? saying hello now, and I can see uh, people. I've been wittering on. We've done meatless products, the fact that corn is a mushroom, and you know, all of this, and you missed it. You just <laughs> missed it because I was talking to Josh, and you weren't there. Anyway, um, where was I? Welcome to Tuesday. It's not Thursday, it's Tuesday. It's me. Uh, Sarah's back again tomorrow and I'm on a chanda on Thursday, 10 and 1, which is why I'm on, on now. Our deal of today, week, whatever, oh, by the way, deal of yesterday, the charm packs at 9.95. She hasn't taken them off the website yet, so they're still on there if you wanted one, okay? Um, do it quick, because once she starts watching this, you could be you know missing out so starcraft have got this beautiful pattern we thought we'd put together the cro a crochet project for you it's 22 balls for the um the crochet blanket and a cushion um if you check out the facebook feed after this don't go now stay there because i've got you now um <laughs> The, if you check it out, you'll be able to see the blanket. It's all little squares, so they're ideal for carrying around if you know, you're doing them all in coloured squares. It's 22 balls. They come out in, if you were to buy them all separately, at 49.50. We're going to do it with a printed pattern uh, for £35. If you want to get involved, you can pick up the pattern on their website. It's a freebie, okay? Um, so that's it, £35. <laughs> To make another crochet along it's sort of it'll be a crochet along with all of us um so um well when i say us i mean you lot because i pick up my crochet in the evening and um never get anywhere with it so who are we speaking to i'm, I'm completely lost now because I, I i was in full flow and everything <laughs> well there's jeans here wendy's here sandra's here Carolyn's here. Mother is here. She's heard that. Oh, we're in trouble. We're, we're, we're in trouble now. And get them because she's she's gonna. Um, she'll give you until the end of this, and when I get over to the, the back over to the shop. Okay, right today. Today we've got a really simple, easy project. We're going to make a tic tac toe carry thing. Now it's big enough. You could make it smaller, I suppose, and have smaller squares <laughs> you know me i like to go large um so you could get other games in here uh while i was looking on pinterest at different ways of making pouches and things they had um games that you know when you're in the car with kids there's games um for you to print out looking for different cars looking for lorries and things i know that's not, nothing to do with this but the I really like the idea. They also do a dice game, so you could put your dice in here or your die. Um, you could put um, those in there. And what it is, is there's a, a print it out and it's got different shapes. And you roll a, a die and um, it comes out with, uh, for number six, you get to draw that body. And it, it then you throw it again and if you get another six you draw those eyes okay so you just go down and you draw your own monster which is really good for kids uh, there's monsters and there's pirates and all sorts of other things so teaching them to draw to to look and draw and um something to do on a wet if you sat in a caravan or something i thought they were ideal i'm going to print a few off anyway so tic-tac-toe and then I thought, no, that's not going to take us very long. So you could put on the back, um, connect four. 
so it's um you have to be able to get this it's five by five and you have to get four in a row josh and i were playing it just before we came on air and i beat him just because he didn't know the rules of the game and i'll probably <laughs> never ever beat him again so we're going to do this one all right um depending on the time because we're already late so you need two pieces of fabric now i like um calico okay i i like to sew with calico i think i ironed a bug into this one um i like the uh calico and and it's just simple this one i've put the color on the inside but you could just put another piece of calico there's no reason why you have to go bright okay um and I like the fact that if you look carefully, you can see the pattern through the calico. So this has to be 20 inches long. Like it could be shorter if you've got scraps. They're ideal for scraps. I've done 20 by six and a half. OK, now you're going to measure three inches down. Yeah, three inches down, one, two, three. And you're going to put a fold in that there okay now this is another reason i like calico because it creases well and then we're going to fold it in half that way and then we're going to fold into the middle like that we only want this bit here okay in that three inches we're looking at and i'm going to like that then I'm going to take a ruler, I think there was a shorter ruler somewhere, okay, I'm going to take a ruler and a pen and I'm going to draw from the three inch line there, okay, to this middle bit here, right, I'm going to draw a line there like that. Okay, and draw a line on the other side to correspond. That just gives you that envelope top. Okay, so that's just doing this bit here. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could um, do it in a curve, which would give you more space. You could could then make it a bit smaller. Um, this is just one way of doing it. You, I'm sure you will all come up with your own ways. So we're going to put these wrong sides together. Sorry, Josh. Just tell me to move it back. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put them wrong sides together. And you can see my terrible cutting out last night. And then we're just going to chop these sides off like that. Now I'm going to follow. I can see that my I can see that my um, calico is smaller than my coloured. So I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to sew on the calico. Right. So this is my my right side. Okay. So I'm going to put a R on there so that I know that this is the right side of my calico. I'm going to fold up the end so that this this bit left is eight and a half it should really fold to the fold okay so I'm just going to fold up to the fold like that so I know that we are working that's going to be my front okay and I'm going to fold that down just because that's the right side where's the bug there's the bug, so that's my wrong side. Okay, so we're going to do it on here. Now, I drew with your um, get rid of pen, uh, your Frixon pen. I've got a Frixon pen here. I'm going to draw a tic-tac-toe box in the middle here. So I'm going to go, um, and it's a four and a half inch ruler. I've got to divide that into three. 
section of my maths is awful. So uh, the middle of four and a half would be two and a quarter, yes. So that's the middle. So I'm going to come out by that much there, which would be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five there. So I'm going to put my lines across. Uh, Mother there. says 1.5. Thanks, she's, she's doing the math, so yeah. <laughs> Answering all our questions as well. Well, that's good. I assume it's mother. She gets to them before I even, before I re even read them. <laughs> so, well, that's a bit wide, isn't it? This is the joy of the Fritz on pen. I think that's a bit wide. We're going to come down a bit. Mind you, I really don't think it matters. So we're going to come down, yeah, I knew it five, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, that's because I'm not doing it from there, am I? I'm doing it from, so one, two, three, so we'll go three that way, one, two, three. I'm sure you lot will have a better idea of maths than I, especially Carolyn. So I'm sure there's other games that you can come up with that uses a grid. Um, one that I've been playing with Erin, now Erin is six, um, and I was teaching her how to do, um, how to do, uh, what was I teaching her? Dots. You know where you have the dots and then you have to make, you know, you've got to try and make a box. So, um, I was teaching her that and she wasn't too bad on that actually. So, uh, one, two, three, wasn't it? Um, one, two, three. There we are, that doesn't look too bad. You just want it to be roughly even, okay? Because you do everything on this side to begin with, all right? So I'm now going to sew my ribbons onto these lines. Now I've got tiny ribbon. All right, and what I did was I cut it, cut it like that. So I want four of these. They're only rough. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, and we're going to sew them on two there like that all right now you could you could dispense with the ribbon and you could put a decorative stitch going down here if you're going to do that i would interface it first okay so that you know um give it a bit of stability but i thought decorative stitches going down or even the um go over it a couple of times um to make your lines draw them out first and then just follow them but we're doing ribbons because it was slightly different. Okay, come from by there to by here. So, it's been all arty, look. So we're going to put the ribbon on here. I've used tiny ribbon, but there's no reason why you can't use larger ribbon. There you go, Karen asks, can you use sat uh, satin stitch for the lines? Yes, yes, if you're happy to sit there and do satin stitch. I did think that yesterday, that it would it would look really pretty, um, done like that. So good shout. Uh, what am I doing? I'm going to do that. So I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay. Now I'm going to lock stitch at the at each end so that I can just chop it off and hope that. I don't mangle up the machine. Right, going down there. Mother won't be happy if we break a machine. <laughs> no, not now she's got it back. Okay, so there's one. I'm gonna chop that off there. Now, oh thanks, hon. Uh, I would probably normally, probably normally, um do 
for this in maybe the red. I think I did a black last time. Um, do it in red so that it all disappeared into the ribbon. Um, but I quite like that. It's come out really straight. <laughs> Makes me very happy. Okay, let's go back. I'm gonna go down there. You could, um, if your kid is into cars and things, you could make a road um, and, and do that. That would be uh, quite a good one, a little road. Keep toy cars in the bag then. Yeah, keep toy cars in the bag. Um, these are all sort of like quiet book type things. Um, it is my ambition to do a quiet book. I'll probably end up doing a quiet book by the time my kids are in the, my um, grandkids are in their um, teenage and they're not going to want them. It's okay, you can make them for baby Jonah. Yeah. Your you'll mother be, could, couldn't she? <laughs> you'll, you'll be that age by that time. That's true. That's true. Um, I did do a, uh, put a class on, um, but there was only one lady and I, unfortunately I had to um, cancel the class. Um, so uh, maybe when we're up and doing classes again, I might look at it again. Uh, I have a Pinterest page which collects, you know, one of my pages on Pinterest is collecting things for quiet books. And I have the most amazing buttons that if you've been to any of the shows, they sell these wooden buttons and they're in shapes of different dogs and different houses. I've got a whole street of shops. There's even a fabric shop and a sweet shop. Um, and they're really cool. I love them. I love them, I guess. Um, and I bought those. I showed, I think, Erin. Oh, a couple of months ago I showed Erin. She wasn't as interested in it as I was. But never mind. Right, we're going to chop these off like that. You don't need to worry about the um, underside because we're going to cover all that. You're not even going to see it. So there we have our little cross. Look at that. That looks so neat. So you can iron all these bits out. Remember that your, your ribbon is polyester. Now on this side, you're going to um, go up a bit. I'm not going to sew these because you really don't need to see me sewing buttons on. But you're going to have a um, 5 by 5 So I would... So like that. I mean, you can make it a six by six if you want, whatever. And then I put my five by five on that corner that I've just drawn up there. Okay. And then I would just do this. And then, well, that's not right, is it? That's because I have to do it on a six. <laughs> Look at that. So I'd five my, find my five by five, not my five by six, and take it up there. There we go. And then if you turn that all into uh, inch increments and draw your lines, and then inch is going across that way and draw your lines and sew your, um, your ribbon down, you would end up with that. Okay, right, putting it all together. You're now going to put this, oh, that's the other thing that I would do. I forgot to pick it up, but I put Velcro. I would, I would sew it now. I put the Velcro, if you're gonna use Velcro, um, I'm gonna use, um, because this is all, all gonna be sewn together, I would put, um, what would I put on there? What did I say? Cam snaps. The cam snaps can go on at the end if you wanted, if you've got them. If not, Velcro or a button and do a buttonhole. We could do that. That would be uh, quite good. 
so there we go so assume that I've put the, the ribbons on there I'm going to put these right sides together like that and I'm going to sew all the way around the outside any questions uh, yeah, so Jenny says she used to love her grandmother's button collection. She had loads of different <gasps> yeah. t uh, loads of different tins full of different ones. Uh, Jean said it was on the news yesterday that there's a shortage of picnic baskets, garden furnitures, and garden games. Yeah, I heard that. Well, there we are. We can make all our own garden games. We've shown you how to make fruity placemats for the garden. Um, did we do the beach bag? I can't remember whether we did the beach bag. I made a beach bag with um, Insel Bright inside it. Um, I think we showed you how to do the water carrier right back at the beginning, which I completely <laughs> lost the plot on. A bit like the journal cover. I should do the journal cover again, shouldn't I? Right, I'm going to leave a gap, okay? Um, about two inches is probably big enough. There's not a lot of fabric here. Leave a gap so that you can turn it round. All right, I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm just going up and round. Go on, Josh. Uh, Jackie says she's sat in, sat in a cafe having lunch at the beach in Norfolk, watching oh, us. Lovely. Uh, Ka Carolyn made a, made a large Owen X at Hopscotch and Target dartboard for Xmas last year. Oh. oh, sorry, a few years ago. For their niece, for their niece and nephew, it's a good idea. Yeah, um, is there a pattern we can share Don't with the group? Uh, Kate says we did. We have done a back, uh, a class on an insulated beach bag. We did, did we? Um, it was something that I was very happy with, so it would have been um, a, a shame if we hadn't done it. Um, and honestly, that insole bright keeps your um, water because we did the pockets were into brighted um, it kept the water really cool and that was in Crete of which I was there two years ago today <laughs> it's my husband's birthday I forgot sorry that was like number one thing that I was gonna say happy birthday Dave I don't know if you're watching because he's a Dow but uh, it's his birthday today Anything else? Uh, yeah, Jill says she made a few of the insulated bottle carriers. <laughs> oh, you made a better job of it than I did. It all worked really well when I did it, but I think it's because I used a batik for the top bit, so I was able to line it and it come out. I don't know, I can't remember what I used. It'll be in my box of unfinished things. Ah, uh, Carolyn made it up as she went along. Um, you're going to have to talk me through it or something. Right. I'm almost doing a quarter inch on some of this. Okay. It's one of those forgiving things, you know, this. You make it up as you go along and it works. Okay, we're nearly there. stitch again at the beginning and end because you know that that makes sense. Now come to the ironing board. Where I've left this here I would open your seam out. It's easier to do it now than it is later. So do it almost like an open seam and iron that in the way you've left the gap. It's a lot easier to fold it over at, when you need to. Okay, so I'm going to fold it over so that it meets there, like that. If you want to cut into your corners, don't cut your stitches, otherwise you're going to start all over again. I'm going to cut the stitches like that. I'm going to cut a fair bit off this bit. Uh, there you go. Jean and Anne says happy birthday to Dave. Yeah. Carolyn's going to post some photos and giggles later. Oh, cool. I mean, give me a photo.
photo and I can pretty much work it out, I think. I'll leave all this mess for your mother. <laughs> okay, so we're now going to turn this out the right way. Now, there are other ways of making pouches if you want a proper pouch. Um, and there we are done. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, if you wanted a proper pouch, you can um, find other ways. But I just wanted something that was easy, easy to do. Uh, Eileen says the game bag you were making matches the quilt behind you beautifully. Oh, it does. Happy coincidence. Oh, is that? Which one's that one, Sarah? I believe she's making it net tomorrow at one o'clock. The next <gasps> one o'clock tomorrow. We'll join in tomorrow at one o'clock for the next instalment. Did anybody ever used to watch soap? Or were we the only family in the world that ever watched it? Because they always used to end up, and for the next instalment in Soap, there was, no, no, there, no you, you wouldn't have been, have been a twinkle in your mummy's eye then. I used to love it. it. used to be one of those family things you sat down for. Mash was another one. I've lost a corner somewhere. Or mashed potato. No, <laughs> mash the program. It's amazing. Okay, so you're going to roll your seams and iron it flat. Okay. Your mum says it's before her time, but Eileen and Liz says it was brilliant. See. Uh, Susan Ann as well. Yeah, I used to love it. The butler used to make me roar. It was about Prince, Fresh Prince. No, Fresh Prince was a bit older. I know that one. Yeah, well, that's iconic, Fresh Prince. Um, Dallas and Dynasty was around, I think, about the same time. I don't know what those two. That that'll be beyond me. <laughs> it was all a dream. Bobby came out of the shower, and it was all a dream. I hope I haven't spoiled the ending for anybody. Right. <laughs> Okay, so we're going round, round and round, and round. Um, one of the projects that we're taking on the craft store uses the um, hexagon ruler. Uh, I've come up with this bag, which I was developing for to go with the Batik um, subscription box. Um, I wasn't quite ready. So, uh, so you'll have to have a look. Um, the pattern will be available afterwards. Uh, I love it. I think it's great. So, um, sorry, I lost. <laughs> I was getting lost in the seams then. Yeah, Leslie says she loves Dallas. Yeah, it's um. One of those things you ought to go back and and watch now. It would be so funny now. Apparently, the Bobby shower scene was thirty five years ago. No. According to thirty five years ago. Mhm. Mm Blimey. Ten years older than me. Yeah. Well, I would probably have been about your age. And bearing in mind, I'm not very good at maths. I'd have been about your age. 35. What's 35 from 56? Uh, 21. Yeah, 21. 21. Oh, I was a bit younger than you. Right. So we've gone all the way round. My corners aren't brilliant. In 1986, apparently. Wow. 1986. That was actually two years before I got married. I'm such a young whippersnapper. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe I've got kids as old as I've got. No sharing any uh, ages there. Right, 
So I'm going to iron this, iron off my uh, marks. Okay, how are we doing? Sandra wonders what Bobby looks like now. I don't know. I know what um, JR looks like now. Right, so this was to come down three things, three inches, roughly. And then we were going to fold this up to there. Well, that wasn't very well placed, was it, Sarah? Look at that. Put it down this end, okay? <laughs> Don't put it at that end, put it down this end. You have to play it with it open. Oh, there's a... There we are. So, it's a good job I don't have the Velcro, otherwise I'd have worked this out earlier. What am I doing now? Sewing it up. <laughs> right, so we're going to do a top stitch all the way round, and as we go... Oh, come back here. <laughs> down there. Down there. Sorry. As we go, we're just going to catch this all the way round. I suppose if we did that... Do that? Oh, you covered the whole thing. You'd cover the whole thing. You could do that, couldn't you? Cover the whole thing and put a button down there. And put a loop and a button, something like that. And then you'd have this side. You could then put like a wiggly road. It would be bigger for, for a child to play on. You know, draw some trees in or put some tree buttons and things like that on there if you did that we could do that anyway right so all you're going to do now is top stitch but as you top stitch up this side and this side you're going to catch the um catch the seams in and close up the seam that you've just left sorry Jen Oh, yeah. My dog in the way. Not anymore. <laughs> I can't quite understand what's going on. Okay. So really what you're trying to do is catch in the, the whole thing all the way round. Okay. Uh, Leslie says if he still was in the shower, it's going to be very waterlogged. <laughs> yeah, he would, wouldn't he? Um, I've, I've said Google Patrick Duffy now. Apparently he's very aged. Very aged. Aren't we all, darling? Aren't we all... Well, that's a good point. If um, Sandra says, then your back, back grid wouldn't show. Oh, what, what? If you folded it all the way over and you had something on the back, you'd have your back on like both sides, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, good point. Ooh, we've been talking for too, too long. Your phone's running out <laughs> your phone's, what? Your phone's running out of power. We've been talking for too long. <laughs> How's it running out of power? I don't know, it just said 20% left. <laughs> oh, no. I'm sewing really quickly, all right, guys? <laughs> into a book this morning or it lasts all day oh I know what it was I went in the spare room last night because somebody not mention any names Dave snored Rick Roaring snored so my phone wasn't on charge ah. okay we're nearly finished, okay. And -da. Right, apart from the fact that anything that was on the back is now going to be on the front. See, I don't play a long game. This is why I'm rubbish at um, uh, chess. Now, I like the fact that you can see the colour in there, okay? That is a personal thing. Um, again, it, this is really rushed. Makes me think of the, um, the Crusades, actually, with this. Um, so that's it, really. You just need to um, put a, a button or cam snap or something. 
there's no good now, is it? I could fold it down. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. Um, and there's your pick. So all you need is a couple of coloured buttons. And you can play tic-tac-toe. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. What color am I? I could go there. Oh God, it's hard to do from this side. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ooh. Nobody's gonna win this one. Oh, you're gonna win this one. I am. Yeah. Oh, there we <laughs> go. One all. Best of three. Um, so that's it. Come up by ear. Come up by ear. Come up by ear, darling. Right, so that's it. It's just a quick, simple thing, just for keeping in the car, to uh, keep kids busy. Uh, I'm sure you could come up with a lot of things. I mean, you could do ones where uh, you could make it slightly bigger, do all these on like placemats and then slot them in with your counters and everything. All these ideas are going ping, 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 ping in my head. And you would only then need to make them you know, a certain size uh, you could do it that you know, for a quiet book type of thing you can have different colors and different colored birds and they've got to sit on the uh, on the fence and, and that type, type of thing um, I'm gonna go and take my frazzled brain somewhere else uh, we're still folding fabric ready for Hochanda um, Sarah's back tomorrow don't forget the Starcraft um, thing 22 balls for 35 pound with a printed pattern go check the facebook out uh, sarah will have put a post up by now um of what the blanket looks like i think it looks lush and it would be a really good one if it's uh, not that i've read the pattern if it's all squares that you all you crochet together at the end it'll be an ideal have a pouch you can put them in there um and do that. I'm on the craft store on Thursday. Sarah's back tomorrow. We're not here on Monday, but we're back next week. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>